Hi guys, what's going on? This is BTG and today I'm going to be showing you where to find the parts to build a nav card machine and where to build it. I'm also going to be showing you how to get to the world at war building and how to get to the pylon to build a nav card machine itself. Don't forget to tell me what you think in the comments and if you enjoy the video then please leave it a quick like. So let's get started. The first part is the meteor rock and he's found at bus stop 1, it's that hole in the wall next to the bench. You're going to have to crouch to be able to pick up this part. The nav card itself is around the corner and is at the side of the bus depot on the floor where the bins are. To build the nav card you need to find the pylon which is in the cornfield. This is located in between bus stops 3, the farm and 4, the power station. If you're on the bus you're going to need to jump off it where the burning cars are and take the pathway into the cornfield. Following the crack in the floor, take your first right, then your first left and then follow the path forward all the way to the pylon. The nav card building area is the fencing on your left as you can see now on your screen. The second part is a radio, you're going to need to go back out the same way that you came in. This time go forward and take your second right, then your first left and go straight. Again, if you follow the crack in the floor when you see it, this should lead you all the way back out to the main road. When you've made it out to the main road, turn right and head towards the street lamp that you can see on your left. You'll notice a pathway opens up and this is the pathway that you're now going to take. Follow this path all the way down, passing the car on your right until you can't go any further forward, then turn left. Carry on going straight until you notice a little opening on your right in the corn and then take that path and just carry on going straight. All you have to do now is keep going straight and you'll eventually see the World Up War building that was used for an earlier version of Zombies. The radio part is always found in this spot if it has spawned in this location. Once you've picked it up, head back to the pylon to build the nav card machine. I've left this footage of me returning back to the pylon in case you're not familiar travelling between these two areas. You can just watch this over and over until you get your bearings. So again, you know. Just watch it as many times as you want. If the radio isn't at the World at Wall location, it will be at bus stop 2 in the garage. You're going to need 750 points to enter this building. The radio will be on top of the cabinets and you're going to have to jump to be able to pick it up. The third part is a wooden board and can be found in one of two places, either in the room after the power room on the bottom near the barrels on the right hand side as you've just seen on your screen. And if it's not there then it will be in the tunnel between bus stops 1 and 2. This tunnel by the way is the only place that you can pick up the jet engine. It'll either be in the corner where I'm showing you now, or on the opposite side where the M16 can be bought off the wall, as you can see there on your screen now. But the board we're after is just on the right hand side of that, so pick it up and then head back over to the pylon to build the machine. The last part is the card reader. This will often be on the left of the fridge at bus stop 3, which is a farm, and if it's not there, then it'll be at bus stop 5 which is the town and it'll be in front of the uh, bins which is on the left hand corner as you can see me pointing to there. Finally take that part back to the pylon to complete the nav card machine and that's it. But at this point you'll know when you try to insert that you nav card that it says the wrong card. This is the incorrect card and that's as far as I've got so far with this. Okay guys that's it for me for now please don't forget to rate this video. If you're new to my channel and want to be kept up to date with Black Ops 2 Zombies then please click the subscribe button. I've started doing some video game inspired t-shirts, so if you want to check them out, the link is in the description and on my channel page. All that's left for me to say is I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.